collective what is going on all right so i'm at work i'm off on the road and shit and uh as you can see out on the road so i decided to do my reading today um from work <laughs> since i'm waiting on uh some stuff to go down so okay uh late i think like last night uh, i did have a dream i had a I had a really weird dream i can't remember all of it but it had something to do with like uh, someone was trying to like scare me or try to uh put me into flight so that they could meet me at the door you could be experiencing this too you could have made a move recently that um could have put you ahead of the pack or whatever it may be and there could be somebody that's extreme not necessarily just jealous but somebody who just um just unre or upset or belligerent about uh the move that you made because let's be real when someone succeeds and we're not a part of it it makes it feel like you know sometimes it just don't feel right you know what i'm saying and that's all this person wanted to do they wanted to be a part of the winning team for once you know what i'm saying or they may even feel like that they are that they should get more credit than what they do but let's be real you know you've been doing sh you haven't been doing anything but you know playing some kind of bullshit game so you're not going to get credit for it you know what i mean Anyway, the person that uh, was at the gate was like a Freddy Krueger. That's basically what it was. And like, um, I had looked down the hallway. What it was, I was in an old school at night. And I looked down this long, dark hallway. And right at the security checkpoint, uh, there was some doors that was closed and locked. And there was this, this figure like Freddy Krueger that was trying to get in, right? So basically you could be dealing with like a dream killer, somebody who's a dream killer like uh, Freddy, or somebody who, uh, cause let's be real, uh, I did just see a meme about that before I went to bed, so that could have played a role, but it fits so perfectly. Like, you know, there's some people out here who don't have dreams of their own, so they try to kill the dreams of other people. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I have something new here. I took the time to, um, make some phrasing cards okay i got i took like you know index cards put a hundred different phrases on there i'm gonna pull a few i'm not gonna pull a lot out of here and then we're gonna kick the reading off from there i think let's see about three let's see i got one i got uh i should just grab a couple and see i got yeah we'll do it like this okay so we got three cards right here we go Hokage. Then we have stalking. And we have positive. Okay. So Hokage, basically what the Hokage is, Hokage is a person that um I'm gonna slide these off because I don't have much room to work with. And as you can see, I need to sweep my floor in here. <laughs> so that's not that's not too bad, right? Uh anyway. Um yeah, Hokage basically is somebody who uh, is the uh, HNIC. This is a person who is the strongest person in the village. Uh, I don't know if you watch anime Naruto, but the Hokage is the, the strongest ninja in the village or whatever, right? This is the person that everybody looks up to. This is the person that everybody aspires to be. This is the person that um, is, you know, have all the secret techniques and, you know, saying stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, there are other stronger people out there other than the Hokage, but this, but the Hokage is the strongest warrior of light, or one of the strongest warriors of light, okay? So let's see what this is about. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles here. So you being uh, the Hokage, like it looks like that your uh, money is starting to look better. It's starting to look good. It looks like you're heading towards your Ten of Pentacles here. You could be uh, heading towards uh, different opportunities and uh, different opportunities people are start going to start wanting to work with you uh it's a lot of doors that are unlocking the way i feel is like um i feel like what was closed off to you and what was hexed before is getting to open up and you're going to really be really be able to see what all was being done against you what kind of work was being you know done against you you know uh let's see here verify this yeah like i said you're gonna see all the unfair justice i mean the unfair like all the unfair things that was passed against you the things that was trying to keep you unhappy and um work against you 
uh, you could have been you could have been uh, involved with the uh, uh, air sign, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, and uh, they could have been doing little things or being very mischievous and trying to force you to em empty out your cups to be this uh, apathetic person, to be something darker than what you are. But you being Hokage, the warrior of light, this person has been defeated here. Okay. Because let's be real, this person was living in there, living in lies, living in the shadows, and they were trying to deplete and uh, empty out the, the cups that you may have had. Also, another interpretation of this is that um, when it comes to you speaking your truth, make sure you speak your, continue to speak your truth, because the moment that you stop speaking your truth or being honest and open to people, it's like that right there is going to cause like a. Uh, you know, a disruption in your um, chakra system or in your throat chakra all over again, okay? So make sure that you, um, make sure that you continue to, uh, you know, speak your truth, okay? Be honest, be upfront, be honest. Even when other people aren't, just be upfront and be honest. It'll save you a lot of drama and trouble in the long run, you know what I'm saying, versus what we normally, you know, used to. And yeah, we do want to get over on people. Sometimes, you know, we do like to finesse people back especially if we know that they're a certain kind of way. All I'm seeing is just, you know, keep it all on one accord, be on, use honesty. If you're gonna finesse somebody, don't use the other shit, you know what I'm saying? So we got this Two of Cups in reverse here, right? With this Two of Cups in reverse, it has to do with uh, someone wanting a relationship with you, somebody wanting to be at your side, like I said before, and someone who really, really wants to be at your side. You know what I'm saying? They are desperate to be at your side, but for you know one reason or another, you just like, nah. I think I want to focus on my career, which is why you got this Ten of Pentacles up here. You know what I'm saying? Which is what's making you the Hokage, because you're not you're not throwing your heart away towards someone, or people have more respect for you because you aren't following. I mean, you're not just throwing your heart and your love away towards someone. Okay. But this person here is very desperate to have some kind of connection with you, even though it is a one-sided relationship. So it looks like they want to get something out of you or over on you in some kind of way. Yeah. See, that's why you have this King of Cups here in reverse. This King of Cups in reverse is basically somebody who, um, you could have gotten over someone or someone wants to offer you some kind of love and you just force them to empty it out. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not giving them the opportunity to come in. It's not that they don't want to come in, it's that you're not giving them the opportunity to come in and show you any kind of love, okay? Now, um, depending on who this is, if this is someone new, like, uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna let you use your own good judgment on it because, you know, sometimes God will send us someone that is on our vibration that we are, you know, but it looks like just right now, you're just not focusing on relationships. Especially after what you went through and what you've gone through, okay? So, I can't say that it is uh, shell shock energy. It's more like, okay, I just need to rest. I need to recuperate. I need to let this love thing, an emotional thing, take a rest. You put it on the back burner. Which is the smartest thing to do, especially after dealing with uh, that unbalanced, unfair emotional warfare you just got out of, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, Ace of Earth here, Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, this is gonna bring about a lot of opportunities for you. Because normally, if you were with like whoever this person that was gonna offer you this uh, cup of love, they were gonna block you. It's like by them being in your life or them being um, in a relationship with you in any way, shape or form, that was gonna block you from being able to uh, experience love and you know, and I'm not talking about on a 5D sense, I'm talking about in a 3D physical, being together since okay their presence next to you was going to block you from being able to be with whoever uh is supposed to be for you and also would have blocked an important opportunity right now you're free it's like right now it's kind of like um i guess the best way to put it is like right now it will be something like uh okay um you're you're single and you're ready to mingle or whatever it may be but it's like there's still there were like now that all the tr the traces of this past is is out of your life now's the time to finish healing yourself from it
from the betrayal and all of that, as soon as you uh, finish healing yourself from it, there's gonna be a transition here, okay? There's gonna be a transition here. There's, there's gonna be uh, some kind of promotion, some kind of uh, expansion. Uh, the vibe that I give is like definitely Jupiter energy here. Your wherever Jupiter is in your chart, that's what you need to look up right now because that's where you're going to expand. If your Jupiter is in, uh, let's say, Aries, you're going to expand and being able to identify yourself or expressing yourself to others, which ultimately will give you the courage to be who you are. And like I put it like this your fortune is going to come from you being who exactly who you are if you're in Mars. If it's in Taurus, it's gonna, you're gonna get more money from taking care of your responsibilities. If it's in uh, Gemini, it's gonna come from uh, communicating better, like being understanding and being understood by others. Wherever Jupiter is in your astrological chart, that's what is going to expand at this time now that you got this, this, uh, this block of energy out of your way, okay? Wherever it is. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, see, that's why I got the hangman here. So there's gonna be some enlightenment about this whole situation, okay? But only thing I can say is I pray that it doesn't draw you back in to where you were, okay? So whatever whatever enlightenment, whatever new information come in, don't allow it to draw you back into where you were because that's not where you're supposed to be. That's just, a, that's just you know, another aspect of warfare where these people, where whoever you are battling or whoever it is, you know, they're gonna wanna try to find another way to, uh, draw you back in and the best way to do that is to have you um basically not necessarily just thinking about them or pondering on them but it has to do more with um you feeling like basically it, it's kind of like this pity party like woe is me okay true enough you you know experience your emotions you're gonna feel bad uh you're gonna be hurt you're gonna have to recover but the best thing to do is to recover and move on because at this time, God has already taken over and he's already started the primer process, whether you know about it or not. So next we have this stalking card here. I've seen this a lot in a lot of readings. I've heard about this a lot in a lot of readings. I'm going to give you the lowdown. So far, it was like, uh, you know, somebody was stalking you. Somebody um, was gang stalking you. There's a lot of people watching you. Uh, some readers were saying that there were police officers involved or um, some were saying that it was a federal agency, some could say it was your boss. Some, there was just a lot of people that were saying, you know, a lot of people that were watching you, okay? So let's see why these people are watching you. Okay, so these people are watching you because it apparently it's like, they want to know if they're blocking your gifts like they, like, like they uh, have been doing you know what i'm saying they want to know if the spell work has been working against you okay that's why the queen of cups is coming up in reverse they want to know if you are in uh are you apathetic yet are you uh is your spiritual gifts blocked now uh will you be able to use them in the future uh what's going on with you they want to know everything that's going on with you so they'll know how to attack you or what else to do to you in the future okay or how to uh keep you stuck in a cycle okay so that's why you're being stalked. But right here, with this three of wands here, that's, you know, it's time for you to start planning for your future, okay? <clears throat> the best way to do that, uh, in my opinion, is to, um, even though they're stalking you, keep your hands clean, but instead of focusing on being stalked, just focus more on uh, preparing for the future, okay? Take your time, take make your steps, and make your stand towards the future, because the way that this is, the way that this is uh, looking, it's like they're distracted by you. Okay, they're trying to, they're trying to use, they're trying to uh, use the circumstance to distract you, to keep you distracted from what's in front of you. But in reality, they're being distracted from the opportunities that's in their lives to make their lives better, even loops to get outside out of the karma that they've acquired on themselves. There are some of them who, um, there were loops, there was ways for them to get out their karmas. They did not take it because they decided to focus on you. They didn't take that. They manifested a few things and they could not escape out of that. I mean, they manifested stuff. Like these people are, whoever these that's stalking you, 
that person is manifesting things, but because they're focused on you, they're not seeing what they're manifesting. So it's kind of like walk. It's like being in a dark room, manifesting all kind of shit. Now that has the uh, that has a, it's a two-edged sword because you can manifest all the things that you want, but because you're in a dark room and you cannot see it, you'll start manifesting demons and dark, dark, darker things. Okay. Yeah, because look at this. At the end of the day, these stalkers, they don't want you to get away. That's what it is. They don't want you to get away. They don't want you to leave them. This could be someone with abandonment issues. This could be someone who uh, who is has trust issues. This could be somebody who has been abandoned by many people in the past. Could be like boyfriends, girlfriends, fathers, daughters, whatever it may be. All of this stems from their what kind of inner work that they need to do in their lives. This has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you. This warfare has nothing to do with you and everything to do with someone else who was too blind, not stupid, but just too blind to realize how much, what work needs to be done and how to go about doing this work. Because the reality of the situation is, is like, uh, this person needs therapy, a lot of therapy, but they refuse to go and get it, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, look at that. Remember I was telling you about the dark side of manifestation? This card proves that. It's, they're, they're, these people are manifesting the opposite of what they normally manifest or what they are capable of manifesting, the opposite. And they're not taking action in their own lives. So what are they doing? They're pacifying themselves by watching you and stalking you. Stalking you makes them feel better about themselves because it makes them feel like they're doing something in life. When in reality, you're doing nothing but watching. That essentially at the end of the day, you're just watching. You're watching and you're bringing chaos onto someone else. Or, you know what I'm saying? But the same, I put it like this. There's this theory about chaos energy where it's like you create chaos in someone's life and then you offer them a small decision and, I mean, a small solution. And when they take that solution thinking that it'll calm the chaos, you stop the chaos to make it seem like that that chaos is over because they made the decision. That right there is the uh, way that they, is something that they're using to try to control you possibly. They're gonna create all kind of chaos until you make the decisions that they think you should make in your life. Now, what about their lives? Keep in mind that this could be like four, five, six, seven, 10, 20, 30 other people stalking you. Yet they wanna create chaos in your life to make you do certain, make certain decisions when it will take so much less energy for them to go make those same decisions on their own. You see what I'm saying? It's, an, it's not necessarily just an abusive energy, it is a waste of energy. So what happens, that chaotic energy that is sending, that's being sent your way, it's being transmuted into powerful manifesting energy for you, which makes you the Hokage. Where energy, where, where attention goes, energy flows. Don't be, don't be uh, fooled by anything. Don't be fooled by uh, what people, how this uh, magic may work. Cause some people may feel like, okay, well, maybe if we get this person to focus on us and their negativity and stuff like that on us, no. Because basically what they're doing is like, if you do have negative energy towards them or any anger or hatred or whatever it may be, it's only them focusing their energy through you back to themselves. And then they are, they're trying to throw uh, bad karma on you, but because it didn't originate from you, it's sticking back to themselves. So not only are these people going through their, uh, going through bad karma for what they're doing to you, they're facing bad karma for trying to, for, trying to make you face bad karma. So that right there is basically locking, it locked them in the hell. Like there's no escape from it now. You see what I'm saying? That's why Six of Swords wands came up. They're stuck in it and they want you to be stuck in it too. But the reality is the moment they lay, let up and leave you alone, all that disappears and all that karma comes back onto you, onto them. Yeah, look at that. This is the thing that they tell themselves that they have this fictitious, like, I put it like this. This is a two word, I mean, a, a two meanings right here. This is somebody who has a fictitious sense of judgment, okay? So basically these people are trying to pass judgment on you and try to justify the judgment that they pass on you using logic, okay? When in reality, when in reality, that's not true justice, okay? 
justice is being passed on them for them judging you, passing judgment on you, and also for them manipulating certain criteria to aim towards you. You see what I'm saying? This person only only is uh, is in this this mind state of using uh, defensive magic. That's the only thing. Like if this person is still using magic, it's all descent, defensive. Um, it's defensive. Um, uh, uh, it's like come to me, think of me. Uh, you know, bend over spells. Uh, it's basically the spells that you see in the in pet shops. Okay, real low class spells that they've been doing and using. Okay. And they're using it in a sense to try to get you <clears throat> to basically fuck yourself. When in reality is like I said, like where energy, like it, it's basically you're a conduit, okay? You're a conduit. Like the energy that's being directed towards you is passing through you, and it's being expressed in the world. It's like they're they're expressing themselves into the world through you. And once that's done. The karma comes back to the person who initiated, not the person who, you know, who's the conduit. You know what I'm saying? God don't pass judgment on the wand for the magic it created. It passed judgment on the hand behind the wand, the intentions behind the hand. You see what I'm saying? So as far as like this stalking shit, it could possibly come to an end. Let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. As a result of the stalking, guess what? This is going this is going this is beginning the blocking of their own abilities, okay? Their own abilities are being blocked on a spiritual level. It's being locked up spiritually. These people aren't going to be able to use the gifts that they normally had before because originally, like I said before, the whole overall goal was to block you from using your spiritual gifts. Okay? To keep you from being empathetic, to be, keep you apathetic, to keep you focused on them, to keep you um, angry and things of that nature. When in reality, it's them being angry at you. It's them who can't sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's them who's overthinking. It's them with un, un, um, unhealed wounds. You know what I'm saying? Will they see it this way? Possibly never. They will never see it this way. However, the skills and abilities that they once had. The things that they were praised for in this world, the things people looked up to them for in this world, it has been stripped from them. It's no longer. That's it. That's all they got. So now the very same, uh, the very same way, the very same thing way that they wanted people to see you, is actually how people are seeing them. Like, damn, you fell off. Damn, you didn't. He didn't. This person or she. This person didn't used to look like this or didn't used to be like this like damn like what's wrong with them you know so now we got this positive right here this is a positive energy so this is a positive message look at that ace of swords here you're true in order to maintain the balance of positivity in a circumstance situation it is imperative that you speak the truth okay speak your truths there is a lot of information that is being exchanged a lot of more information that is being that are coming and going freely don't disrupt it if they're gossiping about you, you know, if they're saying different things about you, reveal your truth. You don't have to go ham on them and say, well, then, you know, you don't have to do that. In this circumstance, it's all about how creative you are in revealing your truth to the world about, pe about people. Okay? It's about your creativity. That's something that these people don't have. Or the person that's stalking you and using magic against you or whatever it may be. That's something that this person does not have. Okay? They lack creativity. Because remember I told you that there, um, there's a blockage, right? Originally, the gifts have to come from the heart. Their heart is blocked off because of how heart, how, uh, heart, how they harden their hearts towards you, specifically. Okay? So anyway, they're going to be sending all kind of information to you. They're gonna, you may hear a lot of rumors, a lot of gossip. There may be a lot of uh, he say, she say. It may be a lot of accusations. Whatever it may be, you're going to hear a lot about different things, okay? What you're being asked to do now is to speak your truth, okay? Speak your truth. When you speak your truth, that right there is going to uh, it's going to draw in a lot of abundance for you. That's why you have the Queen of Earth here. 
this is somebody who is um who like basically you're gonna be put in a position where because of your honesty someone is going to recruit you okay and they're gonna like that they're gonna uh assist you or support you uh with money like a monetary it has to do with like money like some kind of support system or them trying to support you with money or they're watching how you use your money someone is watching how you use your money and they're uh they're impressed with your budgeting skills how you uh use a little to accomplish a lot um let's see what else you got here yeah and also they're impressed with your ability to your basically your overall skills here okay so sharp mind you're able to see through different things you're able to decipher the bs you know what i'm saying someone's noticed this about you it could be quite a few people here a group possibly they also notice what you do and how you use your money and they also see how much love that you have for other people here or how much love is involved with you and other people and these people have been enlightened about this situation they've been they have starting to see this from a different point of view and this like basically if you hadn't been attacked or hadn't been spiritually attacked i wouldn't say that you would have been further along it's just that you would have had to go a long route to get other people to notice uh what kind of person you were but because of the people were all these people were stalking you and doing all these things to you all the people you would have had contact with or even people in better positions than the ones who you would have had contact with they are they have attracted themselves to the situation and they've seen these things from a different point of view. They're starting to see it from your perspective now. They're starting to see it from your perspective. And it's without you forcing them to see it that way. And they like what they see. A lot of them are pleased with what they see. It brings emotional fulfillment to a lot of people for what, what is being broadcasted or what is being told about you. Okay? Your reputation is proceeding. Proceed. Your reputation proceeds okay and the reason being is because uh like i said all of this had the opposite effect of what was uh what was you know what it was supposed to do okay also you're being seen as the queen of wands here someone thinks you are very beautiful to seem like um like uh you look good your money is good or your money is getting a lot better because it's right now it's at the queen of queen of earth which isn't bad at all. Uh, you're honest about your intentions. You're happy. You're full of love. You see things from different points of views. Like this is the kind of things that you need to know about yourself, okay? Because there's you've been in this situation of nothing but with a lot of negativity, overwhelming negativity. Look at that. The fool. Usually the full card comes up when it has to do with new beginning or someone being the teacher But this is someone who's fearless in starting something new and I will say that this person is on the uh, This person uh, was deterred just a little bit, but they're on the road to master You're not afraid to make mistakes and you're not afraid to uh, take responsibility for the mistakes that you've made You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and that's pretty much a reading for the day I guess I could pull a few more cards because I, I just made them. I made them yesterday and I was just like, you know, I want to try something new. I saw this. So, uh, what other card we got? We got Ephesius. Ephesius is a healer. This is somebody, this is, uh, he was a, yeah, he was a healer who was uh, cursed by the god Zeus after he found this way of using Kudalini energy for immortality, okay? So you could be a pioneer in your uh, whatever um, field that you're in. You could be a healer, a master healer, or you could be some kind of pioneer, someone who's going to pioneer a new way of doing things compared to what compared to the old way of doing things. Um, also, just know that you're blessed. Don't let anybody tell you different. You are blessed. And now it's the turn to start learning earth, earth magic which basically is just you uh, getting acquainted with the earth. You could be using herbs, you could be using uh, candles, you could be using um, whatever it may be. There's a variety of things that you can use to, uh, for earth magic. Sometimes it's as simple as uh, hugging a tree, 
or you doing yoga or transmuting what no longer serves you within and releasing it into the outside world. If you were, uh, if you're doing, uh, if you're doing in a, a, a venture, like a business venture, uh, I guess the answer is yes here. Uh, I don't know, you could have asked yourself a question. Uh, I didn't say anything about asking a question or anything, but if you did at this time, the answer is yes, go for it, or whatever it may be, the answer is yes. I don't know exactly where, what context that was in. And then, RIP. So it looks like there's a situation that's dead, rest in peace, all right? Or somebody could be passing, or uh, you could be uh, transforming to another phase. All right, that's all I got. Um, I love you all, take it easy. And um, if you like this reading, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, sh like, comment, subscribe, share. <laughs> but like I said, this is my journey to understanding and learning how to use uh, tarot cards. Okay. All right. Catch up with you guys later. Love you all. Peace.